Kathy Doherty, Vice President of Revenue Cycle Management at Gwinnett Hospital System. We're one of the largest growing counties in the last 15 years. So we have two campuses in Gwinnett County. On 553 beds, about $1.6 billion in gross revenue. Absolutely, 501R is a big topic. I mean, our board is certainly educated on it. We actually developed this year a community benefit board, and I sit on that. Um, that board is about community benefit in Gwinnett, and they are very interested in presumptive eligibility. For I report that quarterly to them. I report all my charity dollars, and I pull out presumptive um, separately. They want to see that separately. With the new federal regulations around financial assistance programs, presumptive eligibility is just a must. It's not really nice to have. And it was a resource thing. I wanted to identify, and I didn't want to spend a lot of resources trying to figure out who can't pay me. You've got to screen people. You've got to know with the new regulations if someone is eligible for financial assistance before you start extreme collection activity. It's amazing how many people don't file for financial assistance that really should. We increased our charity write-offs by 34 percent, and that has continued. So we are able to really provide assistance to people who cannot pay their bills. And they don't have to go through the bad debt collection process and still not pay their bills.